so I'm here to visit Yasin now in hospital. She's currently plugged to antibiotics in the drip. He's resting a bit. Yeah, his hair's thinning a little. You can see there's a tree and the whole floor is like covered now. I think it might be time for us to shave him. Should I do it when you're sleeping, Yasin? Or do you want to do it? Yeah? yeah no, yeah, you, you can shave my head. Yeah? I approve you shaving my head. Shave. Let's see. Here is now. Yeah. Try to pull my hair. As as you I did already. It'll be bad because look, your hair's even going into your eyes. Like we Is have it? to sort it out, yeah. Yeah, Can I don't it? know actually. No, your eyebrows actually I think are still good. So we're about to shave your scene. But because he's still attached to a cannula on his arm, when I cover him up with a black bag, I put a hole in it. His shave is over here as well. So So about to start. How are you feeling your scene? Scared. Okay, ready to do the first bit of hair? <laughs> okay, let's show, show let's show the results so far actually so you can see it. So this is hair so far. You can see the thinning patches around. So. But I think he's sweating as well, so hopefully you feel better after this. <laughs> Don't be scared. Let me practice first without the camera and then I'm gonna deal with the camera, okay? So I've got one side down. I was very careful around his hair, it was a bit scary. Yeah, shape okay. Shape about where it's easy to okay, let's do it. Okay, I'll film the back, thank you. What do you see? Let's cut from the bottom. It's off, I don't really You're sweating, your head is wet. <laughs> it's because of the tea I had. Yeah. Tea is so sweaty. I didn't drink it, I didn't find it. Plus I'm sick as well, remember? Yeah, it's kind of fine. How do you feel? Do you feel cold? No, it's good. It's good. It's good. I don't want to move around. I'll just move my head. Or something. If you don't touch my sweat, you're going to move myself. <laughs> okay, let's do your yeah, turn around. Let's do the back part of your head. Is that okay? Careful, be candy though. Good, but... No, I can't see anything. I'm vulnerable. <laughs> you have to trust me, you see. Ready? Put your head down. I think look down. Yes, sir. Ready? I'll trust you, boy. Thank you. Can you put your head down now? Up, I mean, sit up. Up, yeah. Let's do the side. Can I do the side? You my head. Okay, I'm going to... Let's do the side. Okay, I'm going to stop and do the side bit myself and okay. then I'll re record. Mm. Shall I tape it for you? You know what? Let me tape. No, Can you just leave your hands where they are, okay? Just hold it. It should be fine. Is it hurting you? It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. We're almost done <laughs> with your hair. I'm about to trying to blow through my mask. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Almost done. All good, yeah. He looks quite. Look here. He looks like a normal like, schoolboy. 31 year old high school student. <laughs> You do, okay. It's like every Japanese anime. In a so, way. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. You look scared on camera. <laughs> okay, let's try. I'm not scared at all, actually. You trust me? Yeah. Okay. Is that okay? Tell me if it hurts or anything. Okay? No, it doesn't hurt. It can't hurt anyway, it's too soft. The blade is, it's only a vibration, it's on the clip off. Oh, is that what you feel? Yeah. I'm oh, just sweating a lot. It's because it's, I don't know, it's still okay. sick. Hopefully it should make you feel better, though. Oh, yeah. I'll need you to haircut for a long, long, long time. Having a zero is good. Okay, I need to probably wash it. Is it hanging you, see? I feel like it's coming in lots of ways. Okay, should we take a break? Let me sort out your cannula. I think I've got all of it with the um, trimmer. You seen do you Clipper. Have a... Clipper, sorry, okay. Do you want to have a look in the mirror? It's still new, you still need a shower, but it's okay. Is it all gone? Yeah. Do you want to see how you look? Alright, see yes. All oh, his hair's on there, right? <laughs> oh, wow, much better. I can actually see both patches, you're right. It's all gone? Better. Yeah, almost. This one's just a wet clump. There we go. Yeah. Mm. It's a wet clump. Oh my but god, you're right. I can see, like, my hair's not actually. I can see those are bald patches. Yeah, it's gonna come out so right now. That's the chemo for you. 
You look like a Hajji actually. <laughs> I do, isn't it? It's like I just done my Hajj and Umrah. Yeah. Hey, that's nice. You look good. So whenever you want, you can shave your beard yourself, okay? Mm. Yeah? Do you want to have a quick shower? I'm gonna... Yeah, yeah, time for a shower. Okay. Thank you so very much. the point of this video was to explain that, you know, shaving your head is very important. Especially for hygiene and the fact that you get constant hair loss. Now when you shave your head, you can start sleeping peacefully. You don't risk the fact that your hair goes into your mouth, goes into the floor, your bed, everything else. So very important that you have a nice clean shave and it does you wonders. Eventually my beard will start falling off so it's partially coming off but right now I'm trying to maintain as much as I can. So inshallah it doesn't go away too much. As always guys, you know, whatever happens in our life, you know, this is all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, and we always have to respect that and say Alhamdulillah for everything that goes in our lives. You know, just remember, yeah, if you always think that your life is hard, think of the prophets in the past, you know, especially one that comes to mind is Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam. He was stricken with one of the greatest tests you can ever think of. Remember, he lost his wealth, his health, children, pretty much everything. And he came to the point where uh, he, even his entire look was so changed that when someone looked at him, you know, they want to turn their eyes around. That's how much... That affected his sickness affected his physical features. The only one that stayed behind was his wife, Alhamdulillah. She always was with him. And even though he was put in such a state, he always said Alhamdulillah, even though he lost everything. And that's the mindset we should always be going for, guys, yeah? For me, I can't complain. I have pretty much everything. Honestly, I, to me, not much has changed in actual reality. I'm a bit sick, but compared to what Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam had and numerous other people in this world, this is a blessing. This is absolutely nothing. So guys, yeah, every time you feel like you're having a bad day, or you feel sick, or something's going wrong, you know, always say Alhamdulillah. Try to avoid, you know, saying, why me? Why has it happened to me? Okay, because it hasn't actually happened to you. You know, this actually, this could be a good reason. Always think of things in a positive way. It happened to you because the Creator loves you so much that He's testing you, in particular, and in a way to improve yourself, get good deeds. So always think of it positively, guys. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it around here, yeah? So I hope this video has benefited you guys. And inshallah, I'll see you all in the next one. So take care.